Okay, meteorologist Dean Davison, this is from the Weather Pros and Responding Fire. Thank you so much for joining me right now. It's around 6.24 p.m. Um, this is, might be a little delayed on the live stream uh, or the stream that I put out. But let's be, uh, this is with the total rainfall we're looking at. Over an inch of rain in the Roanoke area, we're talking about two up to three inches right along the Blue Ridge Mountain Chain, Blue Ridge Parkway. It's, it looks pretty rough um, tonight. Because the main threat is going to be heavy rain, flooding rains, and we're also going to be looking at quite a bit of potential for damaging winds. So let's take a look at that. As you see, this is current, and as you see, as this thing moves to the east, it's got a pretty good straight line. This, I'll bring it to time for you, it's 8, 9, 10, 11. About midnight so you see this this line a straight line winds even though it's kind of broken apart a little bit you would see the line that's going to be a line of very strong gusty winds above 45 miles an hour probably to severe limits in some locations but we just continue to get all that rain as a slow pressure revolves around itself and we get some scatter showers and possibly a thunderstorm tomorrow like i said we're going to look at the potential for some severe weather and you see it's kind of has that southwest and northeast pull to it and I, I never like when i see that a lot of the reasons i don't like that is because of the ability for quick spin up rotations but like i said the main reason if we do get severe severe weather tonight it's going to be damaging straight line winds the majority of this area we're not looking at any kind of a major tornado threat so that's a good that's some good news like i said we will have some shear available there's a shear over the area this is actually looking at your shear uh levels at 180 millibars and so you will have some shearing going on that's why we can never um say a tornado can't occur so that's the few things that we're watching tonight so heavy rain amateur winds majority of those strong severe weather will be after 9 30 p.m likely mainly till around three or four when the, the flooding it could last into the morning but the severe weather potential most likely severe weather potential will be between 9 30 p.m tonight and four o'clock in the morning tomorrow so those are the hours that we're looking at right now we guess we get, might get some scatter showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon isolated in nature because of the actual upper level low pressure system cranking out some energy not looking to be on the severe side there so please a few things have a way to get warnings overnight multiple ways you can always turn your wea on your on your phone if you have a weather radio turn it on if you have a way to get alerts from a app turn it on and get those alerts it's important flooding may be a big issue so i would say turn around don't drown like the weather service says but also don't drive through flooded roads the reasoning is you might have a collapsed road underneath and you drive through it and you sink in there and you put yourself and the responders in a lot of danger. So with flood rescue teams, they want to be on standby and creeks and streams will rise. Likely your Walnut Street Bridge, places like that will have issues um, tomorrow. We'll have to see. We'll keep an eye on it for you. Any reports tonight, you can give them to me. And I also will be likely streaming live if that severe weather line comes towards us. I may be out. I may go out and get a better vantage point of the storm with the lightning and stuff. So we'll see what happens tonight. Otherwise, I may meet you here on live, Facebook Live um, to explain things that are going on. Other than that, we'll talk to you again soon. Meteorologist Dean Davison. Have a great night.